zero is where everything starts. Infinex, the future is now. Hello everyone and uh, Happy New Year. I just got during the holidays an Infinix Alpha Marvel and being rather impressed with this device I decided to let you discover it. Uh, so, uh, when you buy it, it comes with its own cover present here. Uh, but I will talk about it later in the video. For now let us focus on the contents of the, bo of the box. Uh, so, here we are, the Marvel present here. Below we have the headset with the earbud caps. Uh, the USB cord flat uh, section over here, the, the, the earbud cap, sorry, and the outlet. Uh, under it, below, we have um, we have the small tools for the SIM card present here, uh, one year warranty card, and uh, all the manual user in different language. So. Here it is for the content of the box. Uh, let's talk about the Marvel by itself. So, the Alpha Marvel uh, X502 is a 5 inch smartphone uh, running on Android platform Jelly Bean 4.2.1. Uh, we can see from the first grip that this smartphone is pretty very thin actually, but also very light. Uh, it weighs only 158 grams for 6.98 mm thickness. Um, with a completely black anthracite, me anthracite metallic body uh, which make it even more robust and offer an unparalleled grip. Um, you can see on the phone that the buttons on the side here are pretty well nicely placed uh, in the curve which add even more ergonomic and better grip again. Uh, so for the button, here we have the power button mm, present here, the volume plus and volume minus button. Uh, on the other side you have the slot uh, for the SIM card uh, which is a normal SIM, no, normal size SIM card so there is no need to cut or request a special SIM. Uh, it is as well a single SIM phone unlike many other phones from Infinix uh, where most of them are dual SIM. So on the front side of the phone uh, there is the 5 megapixel camera here. Uh, I don't know if you can see pretty well here. The 5 megapixel camera. Um, speci it's specially built for video calls. I will talk about it later. Uh, the earpiece speakers. The proximity sensor is just right over it. Uh, it's pretty well hidden actually. You cannot see it. Um, I think that's all for the face. Uh, there is on the bottom the entry for the microphone. You have another one on the back, uh, right here on the top back uh, of the phone. Uh, you have as well the, the jack and the, the USB plug. And on the back you can find the speakers and the 13 megapixel with its flash. Uh, so again, as you can see, uh, the, the, the camera pop popped out a little bit from the from the rest of the phone. It doesn't take anything uh, that much of uh, thickness uh, from, from it uh, for a scale of comparison. So uh, let's take uh, this uh, uh, this uh, small uh, tools for the USB USB card. You can see that it's still pretty 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 thin. Uh, I don't know if you can really see on the on the pictures but yeah it's really a wonderful and very very slim device uh, so from the outside of our look the biggest apparent advantage is uh, this uh, its thickness uh, the lightness the full metallic body the arrangement of its various components and buttons that fits very well in your hand it's two cameras front 5 megapixel bsi and back 13 megapixel bsi uh, BSI, for those who don't know, uh, being the acronym for Backside Illumination, allowing more incoming light into the sensor. Here we are talking about um, more than 25% of incoming light, so much that the shutting at night are breath away, clearly breath away. Um, so here we are for the outside appearance. Uh, we will try to go a little more in details for the art card where Marvel came up with an internal memory of 16 GB. Uh, at the moment uh, for 1 GB of RAM uh, all powered by a quad-core processor of 1.5 GHz from Mediatek 
Um, I'm still personally a bit unsatisfied regarding to internal memory. When you have a camera like this, it is necessary to empty your file regularly enough to keep some storage free. Uh, but odds that that's we find ourselves facing a very very fast device and allows support of very large application. Um, after a quick research, it would appear that a 32 GB version should come on the market very soon. For the screen, uh, let's turn it on to see a little bit. For the screen, uh, we are on a 5 inch. Uh, I said let's turn it on, maybe I don't have enough battery. Wait a little bit. Yeah, no battery. Ah, no, not the right button, sorry. It should come right now, yes, it is. Uh, so, for the screen we are on a 5 inch uh, full HD LCD IPS uh, with a screen frame of 2.98 millimeters a resolution of 1280 by uh, 720 and an image processing that enhances the sharpness of the pictures and give more vibrant colors uh, so as you can see we, even with a high reflection you still can see very very pretty neat and beautiful colors on the screen. Here we are. So for the software, as I said previously, we're on an Android Jelly Bean 4.2.1 platform. Uh, so you have access to all the content of uh, Google Play Store. Um, a very minimalist and very colorful um, interface, user interface. Uh, at the same time, it comes with many different applications pre-installed on the hard drive, like uh, Facebook, Presenter, YouTube, uh, WhatsApp, uh, and so on. Um, so, um, let's try a little bit uh, some applications, some games to have a good uh, understanding of uh, what we are talking about. So let's take a look of uh, Zombie Wood from Gameloft. Uh, as you can hear, we are... Sorry, I will try to not have the reflection on the screen. Um, so as you can hear, the speaker is really, really lovely. Uh, very good sound quality. Um, let's go directly to the game. Uh, let's skip the cinematics. Uh, Blah, 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 blah. So, you can see that it's really smooth, really sharp, really beautiful colors. It's not easy to control it in the wrong way, but uh, let's give it a try. Uh, so, you can see that everything is moving very very fast it's very really impressive for, for, for such a device today um, let's quit a little bit uh, i think it's enough for, for the game uh, let's talk a little bit about uh, the camera so the camera comes with um, a preloaded pan panel on the top of it uh, so basically you have um, different choice like a classic photo over here a classic photo well yes it is there no it is not uh, wait a little bit oh my bad so the classic uh, photo the HDR the face recognition the panoramic and the dynamic uh, dynamic shot um, and of course you can uh, save your, your favorite and the last one is uh, the smi smile shutter um, the smile shutter is basically a simple smile and the camera will shut uh, will shut for you you don't have to touch anything just let your friends be themselves and it will take the pictures for you um, so of course all those functions are adjustable for ISO, white balance and so on uh, that's why you can save your favorite it's very easy to access after with this uh, little star on the top um, as said before the both camera are BSI and the back camera have an aperture of 2.2 2.2 so really the image quality during night shot are quite impressive um, the front camera as I said uh, is 
definitely built for video call. Uh, so it has an average of 30 frames per second in full HD. Uh, I think we went through all the detail uh, of, uh, of the Marvel right now. Uh, let's go back a little bit to the, the cover over here. So, uh, the cover by, by itself is basically a PU portfolio um, remaining in design language of the Marvel with its metallic uh, dark grey uh, without snap-on case uh, as you can see um, to keep the maximum of uh, thickness it is then simply glued thanks to this uh, 3M uh, sticky area stuck on the back uh, of, uh, of the smartphone. You have also some slot for some uh, credit card or other card. Uh, you can put what you want inside this. Um, so that's all about the model. The price unfortunately remains to be confirmed on my side, but I guess it is a really affordable smartphone regarding to its feature. Uh, I wish you then a wonderful year, my best wishes, and see you soon for another review. Have a good day and goodbye! What's up guys, my name is Evans and uh, I'm recording this video to show you the, this device on my hands as I'm, I'm holding right now. It's called Infinix. Uh, as you know, this is Infinix Zero X506. It's the flagship from the Infinix phones. and. Uh, I'm just uh, holding the sample and show you how this device is strong and how it can resist from the scratches from keys, scratches or the stab from the uh, screwdriver and also we'll test, uh, uh, we'll test with the knife and later on I will, dis I will show you how the, how the hammer, how, how, how can resist the, the smash from the hammer. So let's uh, waste no time and and, and see how it's gonna happen to our device and we will going to discuss to, to, to start with the with the screen so this is the gorilla glass kits uh, gorilla glass uh, 3 yeah screen so it's uh, it's very strong as you know very strong it's the gorilla glass from the back oh, from the in front of uh, display and also the the back side of the phone so it's covered with the gorilla glass all sides in in front and the back side so let's see uh, we begin with the with the screen scratching so here's my keys and I'm gonna start it to scratch it yeah slowly and harder it's gorilla glass 3 we will see if it's going to be distracted or it's going to resist the scratches. Mm -hmm. Okay, as you can see, right, there is a marks everywhere, but uh, let's see if we wipe it off. Is it going to, to disappear or is it going to remain? Let's see. Yep. Wow. Okay, you see, there is nothing nothing left they're all gone no marks no anything no scratch yep no scratch you can see so it's resist the keys scratches okay if you are not sure i'm gonna do it very very hard so you will be 100 percent sure about this and imagine this is your keys inside your pocket maybe you put with the phone or sometimes maybe coins or some sharp material don't know whatever it is but let's start hard oh yeah there's some marks okay okay you see there's a marks and um as i'm wipe it off it's all gone so our screen just uh, resist all the scratches from keys it's nothing Nothing you can see here. It's all gone. Okay, now let's see how its backside can resist the key scratches. I'm going to use my keys on the backside of the Infinix phone. Here we are. Scratch hard. Mm. You 
keep scratching. Wow, perfect. Only thing I can see now is only some marks. Yeah, some lines here. But when I just wipe it, yep, I'm wipe it, nothing left. They are all disappear. Yeah, it's impressing to me. I think it's very strong. As you know, Gorilla Grass 3 is very strong material. So it's impressing. It's perfect for me. Yep. So next thing we're going to use is... Uh